for Christian people this, this, this week is very important. I love this week too much, but this time, this prayer only one once in the year. But we miss two two times in the year. <laughs> Lesung aus dem zweiten Buch Mose, Kapitel 20. Und Gott redete alle diese Worte. Ich bin der Herr, dein Gott. Du sollst dir kein Bildnis noch mit deinem Gleichnis machen. Weder von dem, was oben im Himmel, noch von dem, was unten auf Erden, noch von dem, was im Wasser schon der Erde ist. Aber so wie es heute ist, hat es langsam in der Jahre 70 so diese Form angenommen. Und am Anfang war nicht die Kirche offiziell repräsentiert, aber Mitglieder der Kirche. Und nur in den 80er Jahren haben wir in die Gemeinde, Kirche, Gemeinde und in die offizielle Kirche diese Zelebrationen gehalten. Und jetzt kann man spüren, dass wir alle eine Familie sind. Und das ist die Schönheit hier in Jerusalem. Und wenn man meint, dass... Häufig sagen die Leute, dass Jerusalem ein Vorbild der, der Trennung der Kirche ist und Skandal, aber das ist nicht. Und wenn es Trennungen gibt in Jerusalem, müssen wir immer sagen, dass die Trennungen hier nicht ihren Ursprung haben. Die Kirche in Jerusalem trägt die Gefolge der Spannungen, die in der Welt bestehen. Normally we, we start on a Saturday with the Greek Orthodox um, service on the, in Calvary, in the Holy Sepulchre. Um, but the official date really starts at St. George's Cathedral here on Sunday. We have, uh, I would say, eight groups are involved from all the families that exist here in Jerusalem. So we have the Orthodox family or the Oriental churches like the Syrians and the Copts. And we have also uh, from the Catholic family uh, like the, the Franciscans and the Patriarchate and the Ethiopians and also with the Protestant family, both Anglicans and Lutherans. I would like, on behalf of our dear Bishop Suhail Dawani and the Cathedral clergy and staff and the community of St. George's, to welcome each and every one of you this evening on this ecumenical celebration. And again, I would like to express my gratitude and our appreciation for your presence as a sign of our faith together in the one Lord Jesus Christ. Following the service, there will be a humble reception at the guest house, so please feel free to join us for that. From the rising of the sun to its sitting, Give him praise, you servants of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Inspire and lead those who hold authority in the nations of the world. Guide them in the ways of justice and peace.
God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we have gathered this evening in Christian love. There can be complete unity in our diversity. We can be one even though we are a multitude. As we gather throughout this week in a prayer and fellowship, and may our unity and service increase more and more every day. Amen. Uh, this week for, of prayer is mainly attended by uh, experts. Uh, on the one hand, it is a good thing that we have the international community gathered here in Jerusalem in support of the living stones and the living Christians here in the Holy Land, the indigenous Christians. But at the same time, we don't find a strong presence of uh, local Christians. But I have to say, this year is the best of all because we are seeing more uh, indigenous Christians taking part of that. We stand and join together in professing faith. I believe in God talking about the declining number of Christians, the decreasing number of Christians, not only in the Holy Land, but also across the Middle East, there is more need that we need to get together and be united in faith and in love. <laughs>
نحن نؤمن بإله الواحد آدم قادر على الرب الواحد الإسلام church today has a power and the power is in the message which we have in the justification by faith in grace in the midst of merits in uh, we have the power you see uh, uh, of moderation we have the power of witness in the, in, in the world sometimes we must ask if this is the voice of Christ in his priestly prayer that they may be one are we one? Are we really one? Let us meditate on this. Today politicians in the Middle East tell me that the church has power. And we don't use it. And that power is only in our unity and in our common ministries and complementary spiritual gifts in Jerusalem. Are we ready to have ecumenism of martyrdom as Pope Francis told us? Now, with this power we are not using it. Politicians are telling me, you have a power, raise your voice for justice, raise for, your, for peace, raise your voice for, for Jerusalem. I think the Christian church has a power and that power is not divided. It's in unison and in unity. If we together can use it, then the world will say, look how much they love each other, not look how much they are divided. And for me, today we are like the Apostles' time. With all our history, problems, whatever, which are understandable, the world must say, see us united to say, look how much love they love each other. <laughs>
imagine what blessing will be in the world. But if everyone keeps the talents for themselves and does not share it with the other and leave it with the other, then we are in a problem. Today it's a time to put aside all our disagreement, dissensions, uh, all our problems and look to Christ and look for the unity of the church because the world is asking a witness from the church and that witness can be see, only seen in unity of love. J'ai été très touchée émotionnellement par une présence divine dans toute l'Église. So in the name of our patriarchate, our bishop, the president and the priest, I welcome all of you to St. James Armenian Church. It is always a joy and a special grace to find ourselves gathered together in St. James Church, the home of the first Bishop of Jerusalem. Ja, dieser, dieser Zwist, diese oftmals auch liturgischen Kleinigkeiten werden da beiseite gelegt und es wird gemeinsam gebetet und das ist schon etwas sehr, sehr Wichtiges. Und jeder bringt da so ein gewissen, ja, was Eigenes mit rein, wie ich schon gesagt habe und das macht es halt sehr, sehr schön. Danke. Die Armenier haben diesen orthodoxen Gesang, ähm, einer, einer Vespa, ähm, vorgesungen und äh, ja, einen Blick in ihr Leben gegeben.
You are my friends if you do what I command you. We must never cease to work and pray, to study and suffer, that mutual understanding may grow among us and communion be restored. But visible unity, that will come only insofar as we gather together around the primal font of unity, the Saviour lifted high on the cross. He is the divine magnet, drawing all things and everyone to himself. God's Spirit joins with our spirits to declare that we are children of God. teaching, we dare to pray, each in our own language. Mm -hmm. Our Father, who art in heaven, and And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. So meine ich, dass etwas hier jetzt angefangen hat, dass ein kleiner Satz, so das in der Welt schon besteht und für mich ist es ein Zeichen der Hoffnung. Je veux chanter et jouer des hymnes. Éveillez-toi ma gloire. Éveillez-vous, harpe si tard que je veille au mort. Je te rendrai grâce parmi les peuples. Je jouerai mes hymnes en tout pays. Ton amour est plus grand que les cieux. Ta vérité est plus haute que les nuits.
كذلك علينا أن نثق بالروح القدس ونؤمن به ونسلمه حياتنا ويصلنا إلى نهاية روحية سعيدة يا الله عنا الله تعالى <تصفيق> The Lord be with you. Let us pray. To plant the seeds of security and love in the hearts of the people and to spread peace throughout the Middle East and the rest of the world. To defeat evil and the extremists and enemies of your church. Fill us with humbleness and piety and unite our churches and communities in one soul and mind in one love. Unite our feasts and events so that eventually we'd be able to celebrate the Holy Eucharist together. Glory be upon you forever, Lord. Amen. It's so important, the second Holy Week, after the uh, Holy Week of Passion of our Lord, is Holy Week for all churches in Jerusalem, communal churches, yearly. Uh, at this time, and this month, and this week, uh, not only in Jerusalem, but also everywhere if, uh, in, in all over the world. You know, the message is that, you know, I think, you know, we both have a message, we have a mission, is that to bring Christians closer to one another. Uh, and I think, you know, we have so much in common as Christians uh, because our mission is one, our faith is one, and our Lord is one. And therefore, you know, the message that we ask people like in in Switzerland, in Germany, and across Europe, uh, and in the whole world, is to continue to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because that is an important thing, not only ecumenically, but also multi-religiously and inter-religiously. It's important for people of faith, for the children of Abraham, to live here in peace and harmony. And I think, you know, reconciliation needs to start at home. And that is what we are doing at the moment. وكل المتطرفين والإرهابيين وأعداء المسيحية والناس الأرضية. Unser Franziskus jetzt sieht mehr, wie wir alle schon zusammenleben und dass wir im tiefsten schon eins sind. Und der sagt uns, dass wir viel voneinander lernen können. Er gibt auch eine sehr große wichtig. Er findet es auch wichtig, dass wir jetzt das Märtyrtum oder die Ökumene des Märtyrtums haben, das, das, Zeugnis, des das Zeugnis des Märtyrtums und dass wir zusammen schon im Glauben leben. Aber wirklich, ich meine, das was uns zeigen konnte, dass wir, wir leben zusammen, wir haben, wir haben so viel gemeinsam, dass unsere Unterschiede in einer neuen Perspektive muss, gesehen worden müssen und dass werden wir wird möglich sein, meine ich, wenn wir wirklich zusammen leben und tun, was wir zusammen können leben und tun, und dann werden diese dogmatischen Unterschiede in einem neuen Licht gesehen werden, in einer neuen Perspektive. Und das, das finde ich sehr wichtig.